Thank you, Chloe. Well, we've got a real mixture of weather over the next few days. Bright spell, sunshine and showers, and for some of us, rain. But in the sunshine, it will feel pleasant. If you're in the rain, it will feel cool. Now, our weather watchers' pictures are rather nice this morning. You can see some rain in Creef in Perth and Kinross. We've got some showers around as well in the west. But earlier on this morning in Congleton in Cheshire, we did have some blue skies, but there's a fair bit of cloud around too, and that cloud is what's producing the showers or the rain. Coming in from the west through the day, it's going to be travelling steadily eastwards. Some of them have been heavy and thundery, not too far away from the Outer Hebrides, and there are more to come. So low pressure is driving our weather currently. You can see the spacing in the isobars telling you it's close together that it's going to be a windy day, more especially later across northwest Scotland, but breezy across the rest of the UK particularly around the showers and when you have that combination you'll find the temperature will come down. So after a fairly cloudy start the cloud breaks we see some sunny spells developing but then a plethora of showers coming in from the west drifting east. Some of them heavy, a few of them will be thundery as well. Even into the afternoon we're looking at that combination of bright spells, sunshine and showers. You know the drill with showers, we won't all catch one, it's not like a band of rain coming away. However, there will be some sunny spells in between and the showers will be knocking around. We'll have them in Wales as well. The temperatures in Aberystwyth getting up to 16, maybe 17 Celsius. For Northern Ireland, a similar story in that we're looking at bright spells, sunshine and showers. The breeze picking up later in the day across the northwest. And for Scotland, here too, we've got that combination of bright spells, sunshine and showers. Temperatures in Inverness getting up to the mid to the high teens. For Northern England, again, we've got that same combination of bright spells, meaning at times there will be a bit more cloud around, sunny skies, but also those showers and breezy. Now through the evening, the rain picks up. Some of the showers will merge and give longer spells of rain anyway. And then we could have some coastal gales off the west of Scotland. This whole band of rain across Scotland and Northern Ireland starts to move eastwards. And through the course of the rest of the night and into tomorrow, it will start to fragment. There will still be some showers in the west, but for many parts of England and Wales will remain dry, with overnight lows between 12 and about 15. So we start on that note tomorrow with our fragmenting band of rain continuing to push eastwards in the direction of the North Sea. Meanwhile, another band of rain swings in from the southwest, also pushing northeastwards. Now, some of that will be heavy, particularly so on the hills in Wales. But if you're in the central slot across northern England and southern Scotland, you're likely to have a drier day with some sunshine. Now, there's still an element of doubt as to how far north this rain is going to travel, but we think by evening it could be in a line roughly pressed into Hull. So if you're going to Carfest North, you might want to get your tent set up quite early in the day. Then as we move into Saturday, we start off in a cloudy and damp note in the southeast, and then another band of rain swings up across the Channel Islands, southern counties into central southern England. We'll still have those showers across Scotland and Northern Ireland, at times some of those merging to give some longer spells of rain. Still a breezy day, but not as breezy as it's going to be tomorrow. And again, in between, there'll be some sunshine and just a few showers. By the time we get to Sunday, low pressure still driving our weather. There's the centre of it there. Still a lot of showers close to it in Scotland and Northern Ireland. For England and for Wales, there will be more showers than on Saturday. Some of them will be heavy and thundery as well, in between brighter sunny skies with highs up to 22 Celsius.